What is that? Oh, well, it refers to the transfer of people, animals, plants, and diseases between new and old worlds. Hmm. New and old wor worlds. I can't speak. All right. <laughs> but new and old worlds. Where is that? That would be in Africa, Britain, Indies, and North America. Well, I want to know where you're training for the bitch potatoes. I want in. Well, there are potatoes. Yes. <laughs> and there's tobacco, horses, diseases, artillery, goats, pigs, manufactured goods, maize, squash, beans, and religion. Did I hear you say disease? I How exactly do you trade diseases? It, it's goods. Oh, it's, oh, okay. It's <laughs> uh, I see. Anyway, would you like to know the traded among us? <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need to know what you're talking about because I want to get in on this, on this good stuff. Mm. Oh well, apparently they traded. Oh, wait, wait. We, we, are we are trading. We are trading right now. We're gonna right do now. some this <laughs> today. We're today. trading okay. among the Atlantic from Europe and Africa to the West from the. Michael, you're blocking <laughs> my view. I can't read the script. Do you want me to read that? <laughs> Okay. So, we are trading among the Atlantic, from Europe and Africa to the West. Horses, goats, pigs, and some manufactured goods. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> what I just said. Okay. From the Americas to the East was squashed maize, beans, and potatoes. So there's goodness everywhere. There is. So I should get in on this. I, I think I need to go get potatoes. But not only potatoes. But animals traded across the Atlantic. People, diseases, weapons were exchanged. <laughs> well, I didn't find potatoes, but I found this delicious apple. Apples, yeah. I'm all about this for exchange thing. All about it. Okay. Well, back to brew on the Colombian exchange slave trade. <laughs> Thanks, Homie G. And now we're going to go and observe the slaves we have acquired through the Colombian exchange with their master. Helga. Slave number one, break my leaves. Slave number two, cut them leaves. Slave number three, cut them leaves too. Faster! Faster! Now, the next topic on this issue is cows. Cows provide so much for us. You know, milk and meat. And milk and meat. And milk and meat? Wait, did I mention milk and meat? I don't think I did. No. Anyway, what, 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 do, you, what do you feel about this, Grant? They provide milk and meat. <laughs> Exactly my point! Now look at this footage of cows. Aren't they beautiful animals? I think yes. Alright, we're going to sign off now. Ready? <laughs> Bye! Go. Today we are talking about the Iroquois Confederacy. Basically what that is, is an alliance between the Mohawk, the Oneida, the Onondaga, the Cayuga, and the Seneca people. They established trading relationships with the Dutch merchants and with other native peoples that gave them access to the rich fur trade of Canada. Yeah, and um, they're also long-term allies with the British through war and other things, so that in return helps settle disputes between other people. And yeah, that's basically the conversion.
<laughs> and now, we'll go to Elissa and Bree with the topic of the House of Burgesses. Thanks, homie G, and Miss Thing of the Sea. Of the Sea? One word. Now, the next topic we're going to discuss is House of Burgesses. What is that? Well, you see, House of Burgesses okay, had the power to enact legislation, legislation for the colony. But its actions were subject to veto by the governor, council, and your mom was subject to veto. <laughs> like, all right, by the directors of London. Such a legislation, such a legislative body, was completely unthinkable by the Spanish and French colonies. All right, today. now to vote for the House of Burgesses, <laughs> you have to be a land-owning male who is 17 or older. And in 1624, Virginia has proposed to become a royal colony. The House of Burgesses continue to meet, but its influence will become severely restricted. Thank you. And now to the next topic of this issue. Welcome, everybody, back to Schnoop News. I am here with my colleague, Miss Thing. Let's see. One word. We are here to talk about the Council of Indies. More like she is here to talk about such counsel. So, Ariel, you are the professional on this. What do you have to say? Well, basically, I'll just give you a rundown of our society now. So, basically, we view society as a vertical hierarchy of states, which are just classes of society. Um, we're mostly uniformly Catholic, and we are arranged in a patriarchal extended family network type. So, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, Council of Indies is, was created this year in 1524. For all people that didn't know that. Yeah. Um, there you go. And it is over in Spain. Uh, <coughs> they supervise all government, ecclesiastical, and commercial activity that occurs here in the Spanish colonies. So, Michael, what do you have to say on this? Well, geography and technology lim limited this council's power very much. Officially, they were the Royal and Supreme Council, but it all changed. Um, basically, they are the most important administrative organ of the Crown of Castile, which are both in the Americas and in Asia. Um, they they combine um, legislative, executive, and judicial functions. The Crown of Castile also incorporates the new territories of its land. Really? Yes. That was great. That's pretty much the Council of Indies right now. Well, now we will visit Homie G at the Council. See you in a few. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. And now we go to the Council of Indies themselves talking about trade. So, trade is a very important thing to our society. It is. And I want to know what's going on with trade. Well, basically, trade is coming from all parts of the globe. So, you're, we're trading things from like animals to religion to people to culture to things like diseases. So it's it's very important and how it impacts uh, impacts our environment. So like from Asia and Europe, um, we're having things like the bubonic plague is coming to um, America, which isn't the greatest thing, but it's happening. Um, we're also having like from. Asia, like our animals, like pigs and sheep, are coming from Asia and they're coming to North America, which is helping our society and our economy and everything grow. Is there cows? Yes, there are cows. Cows are coming from Africa, I believe. Cows are the best. Yeah, they are. They're great. Um, and then, like, from here, we're um, trading, like, tobacco and tomatoes and squash, and we're sending them to places like Europe. So it's it's a pretty good system we have going on right now. Sounds good. All right, we're going to take a 10 minute break and come back with we'll talking about the government. Let's go, guys. Coffee is healthy. Yeah. Hey, Ariel. Okay, now back to business. We will go to Elissa on the scene with these conquistadors who we will be interviewing today. How are all of you doing on this lovely Sunday afternoon? We're fantastical. Okay, so Griether has some questions for the two of you. So, here you go, Griether, your questions. Okay. What do you plan to do here? 
We come to the new world seeking resources. Gold okay. and glory from God. Who do you plan to conquer? As long as it's not us, we're good. We conquered the Aztecs and the Incas. Okay. So, Elissa, I hear you have, I'm getting some news that you have some questions for them. Let's hear it. We're all talking to the Spanish. No, uh, we are Spanish, mm. but there are also some Portuguese and some German and other Europeans. We're conquistadors terrorists or heroes? Uh, I would say we're heroes because we are conquering land for our motherland and we're bringing power to Spain. I don't agree with that, but... Alright, okay. back to Michael. So now, I, I just have a few more questions for the two of you. So, um, well, among you conquistadors, who were the most famous and what for? Well, there was Cortez who conquered the Aztecs, and there was Pizarro who conquered the Incas in Peru. Okay. Now, for some of the people that don't know, we saved the best question for last. How would you describe you guys? Like, what are you, so to speak? Well, basically, we're Spanish soldiers, explorers, and adventurers who just bring much of America to under the control of Spain. So that's pretty much what it comes to. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we, I guess we're done bothering you guys. So those are the last few questions. Free to go and enjoy your last few days with us. Go to some amusement park. So bad. You know it. Thank you.